seconds and counting. Hey, what's up, guys? Clutch State Entertainment here, back with another video, and today the Texans have announced the hiring of their new offensive coordinator, Matt Burke. Matt Burke is just 46 years old, and the last position he held was with the Arizona Cardinals as their defensive line coach, meaning that he did just previously work with J.J. Watt. Let's take a look at his kind of coaching career. He started at Bridgington Academy in 1998 as an assistant coach, and then eventually got his way into the NFL um, in 2004 as the Titans' administrative assistant, then became their defensive quality control coach um, the next season. And he did that from 2006 to 2008. So the Lions linebackers coach from 2009 to 2013. Bengals linebacker coach the next year. Dolphins linebackers coach the next year. Then became the Dolphins defensive coordinator from 2017 to 2018. And that would be his only defensive coordinating experience. But he does have a ton of coaching experience. He does have some, you know, similar connections to D'Amico Ryans. And I think that's just kind of important to have, you know, a little networking going on. Um, in terms of how he did as a defensive coordinator with the Dolphins, it wasn't necessarily pretty. And it was, and it was kind of with the stacked roster, too. Uh, they never finished higher than 27th in scoring defense. Uh, not exactly what you want to see. But I do expect, you know, D'Amico Ryans to give a lot of input in terms of calling plays. We don't know exactly who's even going to be calling the plays at this point. It could be D'Amico. Um, it could be Matt Burke. But Matt Burke using a lot of D'Amico's stuff. Uh, that 4-3 wide nine scheme is still very possible to, to be used. Um, so that's something to just kind of keep in mind when you hear the Texans hired Matt Burke. It's not um, going to necessarily be everything you saw with the Dolphins in 2017. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, and back to the connection with, with D'Amico Ryan. Smack Burke was with the Jets in 2021 under Robert Solo, who obviously has a connection to D'Amico Ryan's being the former 49ers fence corner while D'Amico Ryan's was the linebackers coach there. So that's just something interesting that I thought was pretty cool. Obviously, the, tech, the Texans did interview some other guys. Uh, Marquand Manuel, the former Falcons fence coordinator. There's a chance he could land on the staff. And then you could also see some other, you know, Niners staff members potentially land on there. I mean, as you saw, the Texans added the Niners chief of staff guy was holding the boom box, Nick Cray. I thought that was pretty cool. So you got some Niners connections going on. Just another little update here. The Texans did retain their special teams coach, Frank Ross. The Texans had just an outstanding special teams unit over the past couple of years. Frank Ross is an excellent coach. He brings high energy, great communicator, teacher, really one of the best special team coaches in the entire NFL. I'm really glad to have him back. But yeah, Matt Burke is going to be a he's a solid hire at defense corner. Not necessarily a guy I wanted. You know, I was a bit pretty high on Marquand Manuel. I feel like he did a great job with the Falcons. I feel like he's a great teacher, communicator, high energy guy. But we'll see what Matt Burke can bring to the table. Um, hope to find out sooner rather than later who who will necessarily be calling the plays or will it kind of be like a 50-50 thing where they're, you know, both talking a lot in terms of like D'Amico and Matt Burke um, on how the defense is going to be run, how the plays are going to be called. I, I expect it to be um, a very fluid situation in terms of that. And that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.